school smashes one of them. Well, let's see what Charlie has in store for I'm Hip. Now, as we've seen, I'm Hip has always been the, the more defensive player, the player who's going to be chucking his projectiles at his opponent, forcing them to approach. But Charlie King has no issue rushing down his opponent all day. Yeah. All right. I can go through the rap jab, tries to get percent here, but I'm Hip even the better of that deal. Even matching that picking on. Uh, doing a good amount of percent, but really getting most of his damage off these grabs. A good frame trap and able to use the whistle to get out of the forward air. Great, great defensive uh, option coming out from my hip. Using the down air to land. Stuffing out the up air from Charlie to King. Now down smash at the ledge. Going to whiff. <laughs> oh, the shine. Of course, oh no, it's a tough angle there, but gets a side beat, can he come into the cover there? And I'm hip, Charlie with a great stage tech, of course. Charlie, no stranger to getting those techs. Even use the double jump from the ledge into up smash. He was ready for whatever I'm hip was, uh, was going to try and do from that ledge. Yeah. Like that, going, instead of going for the, the illusion to the side, it's going to be a lot easier to punish than that big fire fox. Oh. Speaking about big fire fox, that big forward smash from I'm hip. Coming out to play. And I like it. Charlie taking a page out of the book there for Nico. Pick and choose your moments, man. Sometimes being on the Angel platform allows you to think of a new game plan of what to do here. See, up tilt to up air, the classic. Great conversion coming out from I'm Hip. Putting 50 damage onto Charlie. So the oh. up smash is not going to reach. It did get a huge uh, range buff. Huge, yes, extremely huge range buff. But still not that big. Not, not going to reach from that far. <laughs> Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, um, PS2 has the highest elevated platform compared to a battle. Oh, oh, I'm counting Z also being one of my yeah, yeah. Great conversion coming up from I'm Hip. Taking the lead in here, game one of Winter Semis. Oh, and he went for another Shine Spike. But I'm Hip very aware. I like it. Just Charlie immediately putting on the pressure. I want to let I get a uh, bit of a lead here, but I'm comes back feels percent as well. Charlie just trying to get this stock off of Olimar there, and finally that side B! Wow! Illusion taking the stock and the Pikmin along with him. Just send them all into the skies. Hey man, hold up. It's not Rashido just yet, man. New players are fighting for a chance at Winner's Finals. That's right. Hard to Rashido your opponent when he has a whistle no that kidding. allows him to land on the ground. Indeed, man. Okay, let's side B. Oh, no, and I'm him caught the return to the stage from Charlie. He was able to make safe patches on the platform, but he knew he might have been coming out with two options, either downer or neutral, and I'm him was there to catch that option. Wow, so smart stuff to I'm him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was essentially playing like the, re the role reversal of which Charlie oh, King was keeping Charlie <laughs> in the air. Yeah. That's, that's actually kind of what we saw, right? We like to see the Fox Vortexes, right? Get you up in the air. Use the champ combo, dash tech, you know, to up to, to up air. That's a classic combo with you. Mainly aficionados. Running it right back to uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay, Charlie trying to clip uh, the get up with the Nair, but just. I'm sorry, man. This is like the low key the way we saw. This is like a lame song to play on Pokemon. Is this, is this Road to Viridian City? No, this is uh, Road to Viridian City is different. This is the um, this is the Kalos. Uh, this is like one of the Kalos songs. I can't remember. Uh, Lu Luminos City. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the like Paris City. Yeah, the, the, yeah, it's based off of Paris. Lu Lumio. I can't remember the pronunciation. But Lumio City. It's okay. like the song. This is, in my opinion, playing this one. Right, it's well. like the Swan Lake of like the, the, the songs, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Out of all the legal stages, the Swan Lake here. I mean, it sounds pretty happy. I don't know what I don't know what your problem is with this song. I mean, it, it, this it, is definitely like this sounds like a root song, you know? Yeah, it, root it, nine. It, it, <laughs> this is Lumio this is City, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I can't believe we had an era where people actually picked Swan Lake and like super aggressive matches. Let's go back to this match. This is more important. <laughs> let's go to let's go to the match, man. Well, while we were talking about music choices. Both of our players uh, were able to put both of each other in the red, but Charlie losing his stock to an up smash from I'm Hip. Yeah. Oh, reflector right back on him. Nice. The up smash. I mean, 
converting off a of Nair still being in the game makes it charge. Makes Fox such. His kill confirms are just so slick. Yeah. That's all about range buffs there, dude. He was able to get that range for that smash that time. I mean, the fact that he was able to convert off Nair, run to the other side of the stage, and then up smash, and it still worked. Oh, dude, that was. Yeah. Okay, he caught the jump. This is going to be the vortex time if I'm hip didn't have a whistle. That whistle is so strong. But you know what else is strong? Up smash. That up smash. Charlie, I feel like Charlie has a lot of rhythm now. Yeah, he definitely has momentum. Mm -hmm. um, it's just how is he going to keep it? Nice. Yes, yeah, smart option. Get the grab. We saw him going for Nairs in that position before, and he just wasn't clicking it. But wow! I mean, I I see what he was doing for the second time, right? Not only eliminating the Pikmin, but just trying to get him off the stage. Of course, the Shine Spike was pretty good in this game. Not as good as it was in Melee, but still much better than it was in Smash 4. I'm just gonna take the time to come back to the stage, try to go for another time. And I like the the use of shine coming from Charlie. It's it's putting I'm hip in a position where he's it's always a horizontal launch, and he's forced to use his up B to recover, which yeah. allows Charlie the option to rinse and repeat, and then yeah. therefore racking up a ton of damage. Yeah, uh, and I and I definitely see where that's coming from. But I'm hip. That one time he'll come back on the stage, get that down and punish Charlie for going off of it. Of course, it's now 1-1. One, one. This is usually... Hey, that stage is banned. Don't pick like that. I was going to say. <laughs> He's hovering over Lala. Saw that. Banned here. Not in the G6 reset, by the way. Yeah. It, it, it's, we it's don't talk game. about that. Yeah, we don't. We don't. That's like the meteor that comes every once, every hundred years. And it's like, oh, is that Nah, dude, that, that was the evil rule set. <laughs> that was the evil rule set, bro. Like, I'm just saying, if we can have Mario, we can have items. Custom all right, all right, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll save, save yourself, man. Save yourself. All right, let's come back to it. game three. Pretty big decider here. <laughs> okay, well, I think that Charlie was staying in I miss face, but he wasn't uh, committing to pushing buttons just yet. Yeah, he's really just throwing out these like these longer her boxes, like the like the F tilts. Yeah. Another one, it's the Vortex, and the back end of boot. Charlie back in action. Not like he was out of it at all, but not gonna lie, the Mets is putting him in his favor this early on. It's good signs here in game three. Man, it's a good sign that I'm is starting to panic a little bit more once he gets hit. Because yeah. you can you see him using his jump immediately. And whenever he does that, it's just giving Charlie the green light to go ham. Yeah. Talk about zone breakers here. Charlie able to zone break it back to the box. Oh, a little bit too overzealous with that side beat. Gives I'm the opportunity for the read there, but able to dodge the forward smash. Even connecting the down air, but not able to convert. Now, using the illusion to recover high above Olimar. Which actually wasn't that high, but because Olimar short, like, it was still high enough. Yeah. <laughs> Goes to show, right, like, low-profile characters can have a bit of a disadvantage when it came to that situation. Okay, using the purple Pikmin to get Charlie off the ledge. Charlie at the ledge has been applying a lot of damage. Uh, two I'm hit, so that was a great tool, which allowed him to pick up that stock. <laughs> okay, that's not fair. You up throw Olimar and he shoots the Pikmin instead. <laughs> I'm really lucky, man. You can't, get, you can't get everything fair in life, let's be honest. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> oh no, this could be the edge guard. No, able to come back. Yeah, Firefox still has insane recovery range. So I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm not, I can't complain about that one. I mean, I can complain, I can complain about everything. <laughs> I can complain about that F-Smash at the ledge. Why did he get that for another four years? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Iron Hip's choice, right? Like, he had a chance to kind of probably solve himself at the ledge, and he had to come back right away. But think about how many options that covered. It covered jump. It covered no normal getup. The only thing it didn't cover was uh, getup attack. That's just because, you know, the way getup attack is worse. Exactly. And that's the answer there, man. You look at, look at the questions to the test. There's the answer. Getup attack. Dash attack into up air. Charlie, definitely a lot of momentum here. Game three, super crucial. Especially because one player will be put at set point, and the other will have to fight his way a little bit further. That's right, but I'm hip, not not letting this game um, escape him just yet. Following the recovery from the firebox and landing an F smash. Wow, Ooh. big up smash, even getting a little bit of charge, but still sending I'm hip in the wrong direction. And it's all because he had invincibility, right? Coming back on the stage, there was nothing I'm hip could have done there. Oh no, this could be big for him. It. And he's able to make the landing. He must have been a lot lower than he looked because it looked like I'm hit 
had the correct timing to to throw out the down air and even, at least get a trade. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Fox is the one character I have not probably lapped how his recovery works. I wanna say that it's possible because he could have recovered because of the Pikmin being an extension, but I don't really know. The classic Fire Fox, Charlie, bringing it back to 2018 with Smash for Tech. Control available here in Smash Fire Fox at the lead. Wow. I am speechless. I Whenever Firefox gets a kill, I always think it's like the the coolest thing because it's let's face it, it's a recovery mode. Yeah, it's not <laughs> meant to kill. It's not. It's but, not all, dude, but it works. But when you do it, especially like in a trap situation, yeah, it's if it happens to you, you shouldn't be you shouldn't feel sad because you never really expect it. You're like he's not gonna kill me with this LP at the ledge when he can like do something else. If I got hit by that, uh, that would be the FGC shake. I would I'd just be shaking my head. Like, yeah, dude, I have, that would be the FGC shake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think about this song? It's not me. Dance nominates his best songs for Smash Ultimate. Uh, that's, that's a tweet. That's a tweet right there. Man. I'll tweet about that some other time. But let's go. What's more important here <laughs> for the game? Oh, getting the trade. I'm hip. Seems like he came out on top of that trade, too. Yeah. Okay, but that's the Nair that we've been seeing Charlie use at the ledge. He's been able to just keep I'm hip off the side of the stage. And even right there. What was that? He threw him up. Shark is landing. And killed him with an up smash. That's the thing, right? Shark is landing. I'm hip to pick the same spot to land. You have lift off, land somewhere else. You can choose to come back at the ledge. You have the rest of the left side of the stage to make a recovery there. But instead, I'm hip was so asphyxiated with possibly getting the punch there that it cost him the stock. Okay, another Firefox to get back to the ledge. We're seeing a lot of offstage play come out from both players. Yeah. And of course, like we mentioned earlier, Charlie's so good at teching. Of course, you have to be meeting Fox. One of the key things about meeting Fox, right, is you're going to spend a lot of time offstage at times. Teching is super important. Okay, so I'm hip is at 79%. He did just get a big up throw, but you know what that means? It's up air time. Yeah, it it's is. up smash time. <laughs> Let's I mean, find that conversion. The, the percent's really there for Charlie, but not going to get the outfash oh, back air. Oh, I mean, back air? Back air at the ledge. <laughs> this character has so many kill options. Like, I thought Roy had a lot of kill options. This character has conversions upon conversions of kill options. Yeah, dude. Not only just conversions, right? Just raw kill power. Off smash, back air, up air. Mutra. Raw kill power. I've hit flexing his own kill power right there. Yeah, he had to, man. At this point, he's definitely feeling the heat. I mean, he felt the Miami heat last game. Okay, big down air. That was that allowed him to land back on the stage. Oh, no grab to punish the fo the Fox Illusion. Oh, that's an unhealthy shield if I've ever seen one. I'm hit. Uh, not really pressuring as Charlie King was using his movement. Looking oh, like he good wanted pressure. to approach. I like that. I like that from Charlie. Good pressure there on the special shield there. Just a couple. Felt, I felt like if he held his up smash for a slight second there, might have gone to the shield break. Wow, wake up into jab. That that man, I'm hip, is brave. Yeah. Like right. he, at 115 percent, you know up smash is gonna take the stock. Yeah. But I am finally at a situation there where we could probably take the stock from Charlie. I like, like it. Moves away from the ledge with a little bit of a fade away there. Tries so hard again, we couldn't get it there. You can see the uh, advantage that Charlie has whenever he, his back, uh, he's behind I'm Hip. Because right there, he was able to dash attack the shield, but I'm Hip couldn't do anything. Even yeah. right there, being behind I'm Hip as Olimar, really his only option behind him is going to be either an up tilt or a down smash. Charlie going for a lot of these jump options. I have to be careful. I definitely know that he likes going for that Nair, but if I'm Hip gets the read like he's been doing sometimes, It'll be, the, uh, it'll be game five for Charlie. And oh. that'll do it. And we kind of hear the yes from Iambip finally with a sigh of relief there. Game five. I mean, let's think about that entire, this entire set since game two. It's been complete oppression, just pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie has not given Iambip any room to breathe. Yeah. So for him to bring that, that stock deficit into last stock, last hit, and then put Charlie in a position where, like, okay, you can actually lose this game, and now you need to be careful about what buttons you push, and then yeah. close it out with an up smash. Because Charlie has been committing to the air just a little bit too much. Exactly, and that's what I want to talk about. Like, I definitely know that neutral air is pretty good move for Fox, but if you use it too much, you're putting out your, you're pretty much pulling out the same card each and every time. Eventually, your opponent will get a read on that. 
you play Blue Eyes White Dragon one too many times, man, eventually your opponent will get a trap hole. <laughs> Shouts to you, Yu Gi Oh! fans out there. But back into the game here, Charlie immediately starts off with a strong up air. Incredible play immediately. Charlie, like we said earlier, man, doesn't want I'm hit to live. That's right. They give him the quick vortex, and that was enough to take a stock. But I'm hip going to be uh, really aware of the way that Charlie's been recovering. Punishing that at Fox Illusion, even though he recovered high. Great percent for Charlie from that forward air. The combo, too. I like it. Fade away into the dash attack. Dash attack. He even tried to follow up with a raw back air, but a down smash. Not going to be able to, to take the stock. But you know that's a big opportunity for I'm hip. Yeah. And I like that Charlie saved his jump for that last second. Even though he lost the stock, he saved that jump in the last second was at the bottom of the stage. You know he could have come back from that from that far. That's right. I mean, using your, your second jump uh, to really stop your momentum is a good trick you want to use at these higher percents. Okay, we see the aggression continue for, for Charlie the King. Oh Even no! following so far off stage. Charlie, careful with that air dodge, man. Might have been a missing play, too. Okay, double jab. It's a forward air. It's a down air. What an answer for Mime Hit to bring this to game five. Last stock. Yeah, we'll see if it'll go to the last hit, though. Charlie's still aggressive here. I mean, Charlie can be as aggressive as he wants to, but unless he can put the damage onto I'm Hit, it's not going to matter. Yeah. I mean, how about those not? And do those aerial options. I am now has the adaptation here. That's right. Who's getting Vortex now? Charlie King getting hit with this purple Pikmin. That purple Pikmin right there is the MVP of the set if I'm hit wins. Okay, Charlie. Give that give that purple Pikmin the, the Lombardi. <laughs> give him the trophy, bro. Yeah, we see blue Pikmin online. He's looking for the grab. Okay, putting blue back in line. We see three Pikmin. The, the kill option. This is Charlie's from opportunity hit. here. This is that Nair. Charlie kind of has to hold back. I like it. Stays a little bit behind there. Looking to see how I'm going to approach. Oh, oh and he sees that he's on the platform there and he's able to get the upper.